Welcome to day two of turning this hunk of junk into a beautiful enclosure for my pet reptiles. Here are a few examples of what I plan on doing with the old entertainment stand. Back in part one, we gutted and sanded our enclosures. Now it's time to get it ready for some painting and sawing. So I placed on my safety glasses and it was time to start sawing. As soon as I started cutting a hole, I broke the blade, so I had to go over to my neighbors and take theirs. Luckily, I was able to make a hole without breaking their jigsaw, so pretty happy about that. I then brushed the sawdust off, and it was time to move on to the next step. Also, here's a clip of my dad jumping in front of the camera. <laughs> the opening on the left here is actually going to be the enclosure for a ball python, and it needs a new backboard. So once I had my measurements, I got this blue string and made a few snaps, made some lines, and it was time to do some sawing. Miraculously, I somehow did not saw off any of my fingers, so pretty pumped. As you can see here, I got some pizza grease on the back of the board, but it's okay because no one's going to see it. I then drilled in a bunch of screws, and now it's time to start painting. I literally painted for four hours straight because I had to put four coats on, but it's all going to be worth it for my chameleon ball python, so you know what? Stay tuned for part three.